Are you ready for an open discussion with the best of the best and the best of what's next? Welcome to the Tony D'Urso Show. Join in on a great conversation today with some of the world's great influencers as they showcase great advice and techniques that made them the game changers they are today. Now, here's Tony D'Urso. Welcome. I'm your host, Tony D'Urso. I interview some of the most successful people in the world, and I thank you for joining us. This show is dedicated to helping you turn your vision into reality. And here's an elite entrepreneur who provides insights and guidance you can use to move along your vision path. Listen to my shows at TonyDURSO.com or go to your favorite podcast platform such as Apple Podcasts and search for Tony D-U-R-S-O. Today's show is about how to create your reboot plan with Sheila Mack. Let's see what we can learn today. At the end of this interview, I'm going to do a summary recap of what we went over. So stay tuned for that. Sheila Mack is the Lifestyle Reboot Specialist. She's the parent of six children, all grown up, who has a passion for helping others succeed. For over 25 years, Sheila's been a leader at helping people to break through using the Boots formula and take their lives to another level through solid lifestyle consulting and accountability programs. Here we go. Hi, Sheila. Welcome to the Tony D'Urso Show. I am so glad to have you on with us. Finally, here you are. (laughs) So good to be here, Tony. Thank you for having me. The pleasure and the honor is mine, and I'm really looking forward to talking about how to create a reboot plan. We all need it so much. We have a lot of entrepreneurs, and we have career-minded as well as corporate executives in the audience. It's a good, growing audience. And at a time like this, I think a lot of us would love this information on how to create a reboot plan. Sheila, I want to follow your journey to success and introduce you to our audience. How did it all start for you? What's your backstory? The backstory. Well, you know, in life, we all have different waves. We go through ups and downs, um, different rock bottom times. So for me, I had a situation where after traveling the world, raising my six children, And doing all these other things, I I had some vacancies in a property and I had a little bit of a tough time. And then I finally saved up and bought this beautiful new home in Ventura. And it was by the beach. It was lovely. I closed escrow on November 3rd, 2017. And you know how you do. um, I just fixed up the whole house, put all my furniture in and all my art, everything beautiful. And then my daughter and I were going to move in on December 3rd. I was driving back to the new house and I was going to sleep there for the first night. And that on the way there, I saw that big Ventura fire. And with that fire went my house. And so I was actually able to, because I was driving home late, I saw the fire. I was able to pull out maybe four boxes and rescue my cat. (laughs) That was about it. And then I luckily I had a, I owned a prefab mobile home. It's like a little cabin house up on another canyon and um, near Topanga Canyon in California. So I had a little side room available. The rest of it I had been renting out to a vacation rental. So I had people everywhere. So I had this little 400 square foot kind of shack, you know, storage shed area. And I just, I went and stayed there with my few things and my cat. Sadly, that same week, the cat got out and was eaten by a coyote. And then one of my beautiful six children borrowed the car and that got crashed and totaled. (laughs) So by the end of the week, I, I was at a pretty rock bottom space. I had put a huge deposit on the house and you know how hard it is to go through insurance to get anything back and get out of it. That was kind of a, a wash there. And so I, I was in a tough situation and so was all my neighbors and friends. So sometimes when we find ourselves in a rock bottom, we do end up being all alone because everybody else like in the situation this year with, with our pandemic, we're all in the same boat. With that, we were all dealing with that same fire and, and loss and the smoke was still going and it, I think it burned for about a month. And I had to make that decision. What am I going to do? I did f- feel that I was going into a bit of a depression, which you know would be normal. And I said, I got to snap out of it. I started doing my affirmations and I, I borrowed one of 
one of the kids beater cars that, you know, with the roll up windows that you crank. I mean, this was really a bad. It kind of drove sideways a little bit to one side <laughs> and it was it was bad. So I I put um, everything positive, all the personal development training I've had over the years. I said, I'm going to put that into what I'm doing. I'm going to make my little 400 square foot shack <laughs> as beautiful as I can. And I went to the dollar store and I got these positive stickers for a dollar. I put them on the inside of my little beater car. And, you know, it, it was just interesting because the moment I made that decision, things started to shift. Within a month, uh, I was invited to another real estate company to, and I moved over to Beverly Hills. I had been working in real estate for 20 some odd years. And so that was a beautiful thing. I closed a lot of escrows and, and um, houses, helped people find their homes. And I was able to get a, another uh, car pretty quickly. I had to lease or rent out these cars on this Turo app. And it was costing me over a thousand a month to rent cars to take my clients out. So all that happened in a short period of time. And, you know, next thing you know, I'm living in Beverly Hills and it's like beautiful. And I'm working at this gorgeous office in a penthouse and, and you know, on, on the main, like near Rodeo Drive. and and I'm learning so much and I'm having a blast. It's only been about a month. And I go back out my little cabin house and, you know, I thought, oh my gosh, I did something really different because all my neighbors and most of the people there in that community where the fire was or closer to the fire, they were still stuck. And so that was the birth of the book. Uh, the bootstraps and bra straps and where I sat down and I wrote out the boots formula because I thought, you know what? I kind of do this often. What did I do? And how can I share this with other people that are going through a tough time and need to have somebody to support them through that? That's quite a story, Sheila. Amazing. You've hit rock bottom, serious rock bottom, like so many entrepreneurs, successful entrepreneurs today. Amazing story. I want to focus in here on the vision that you had that brought about your current success. As you say, some of the others, unfortunately, that have been in that fire burn area have lost their house. They didn't pull up. I understand that you bought these little positive message stickers for a buck and so forth, but you had this vision for your current success. How did that come about? Well, that's where I applied that boots formula that I, I wrote out later. And that was. The first one is B for being. So it, it was who am I being and all that I'm doing and who did I need to be in that situation in order to get back on track? And so I had to really decide that and get out of that, that depression and funk and say, hey, what do I need to do? The next thing was I, I needed to decide what is my orientation? So the orientation was okay. It's not better than it is. It's not worse than it is, but this is the reality. And the reality was pretty stark <laughs> to lose all that at once. It was like, what? I don't even know what I'm going to do, but I needed to know where I was on the map and then where I wanted to go, what goals and outcomes I wanted. That changed just like we all had 2020 goals and things shifted with our pandemic. And so we've had to change our orientation and say, well, this is where we are now on the map. And this is where we want to go. The next O in the boots formula is for order of operations. So that is, you know, getting back to our algebra, it's really the, the order in which you do things can make all the difference. So I had to start with little things, you know, getting out of debt, clearing, you know, the credit because I had lost the car. I had everything had to get paid off and cleared so that I could move forward and get the, the new job and move over. So it was a, an order of operations there. Then the T in boots is for thinking. That was huge. That's mindset. That's where I was doing my affirmations and putting the stickers in the car. And all that was really to keep my mindset positive, to keep my thinking right. I like that, Sheila. And we're going to go into some of those other steps shortly. But I just want to zone in here at the beginning that you started with a vision which we've just talked about, because it always starts with the vision of what you see yourself doing. And then from there, it's your purpose, which you've also talked just a little bit about, which I consider is like, what are you being? What's the reason for you doing what you're doing? And I want to zone in on that just a little bit more on the 
purpose that you had that started you on this current success. And you talked about it, uh, the B for being, but I like to really zone in that into that and give a little bit more information on that. Okay. So, yes. Yeah, so it was really, it's such a beautiful thing because it's that decision that, okay, I'm not going to stay stuck in this place. I am going to move forward. And that carried me to the the being of how can I serve others and help them through this? And, and that was the creation of this book was really about being and, and it's not, it's not what you're doing. I, it didn't matter that I was cleaning up from, you know, dealing with cleaning up the, for the, the vacation rental people and cleaning up the mess at the house, uh, the, what was left of it and, and all that. It didn't matter. It was who I was being, who I chose to show up as in any situation. Uh, when I went to get my new car, it was me having to really humble myself to... <laughs> It was a funny situation because I, I, um, like I said, I was spending over a thousand a month renting these cars to take my clients out. And I thought, well, this is ridiculous, but I, I couldn't qualify for a new car because I was barely paying off the other that crashed and I was upside down, you know, that story. And I, one of these rentals that I got, it broke down. And there I am stuck. It was probably 108 degrees. I'm stuck in this car <laughs> and I called them up. They sent their AAA and I had to take an Uber. This is the Tony D'Urso show where you can learn from the wisdom and success of others to help you move on your vision path. Just ahead, the chat continues on how to create your reboot plan with Sheila Mack. But first, it's time for us to take a short break. See you back here in just a moment. A word from our sponsor, Liquidity Card Solution on earning a passive income. Nobody likes the guy who says, I told you so. The guy in 1991 who said to you, invest in the internet, it's going to be huge. Or the guy in 1997 who said, come on, this is going to be big. They call it social media. And the guy in 2009 who said, I'm telling you, man, crypto is real. Now, I'm not going to be that guy who says, I told you so. But I am telling you that there is a 21-year-old international company where you can become a global project partner, earning a passive income doing exactly what you're doing at this moment. No selling, no recruiting clients, no administering a business after hours. Visit www.mypassiveincome.life now. That's mypassiveincome.life. Don't let history repeat itself on this one. Earn a passive income. Now listen again. That's MyPassiveIncome.life. We're with you wherever Alexa and Google are. At home, in the car, on your smart TV, and your connected devices. Hey, Alexa. Hey, Google. Play my favorite Voice America podcast on TuneIn. It's just that easy. But make sure you actually mention the name of the podcast show to make it work. You're listening to The Tony D'Urso Show with special VIP guests. Now, back to Tony and his guest. All right, we're back on The Tony D'Urso Show, where you can learn from the wisdom and success of others to help you move on your vision plan. Let's see what we can learn today. Today's show is about how to create your reboot plan with Sheila Mack. At the end of this interview, I'll give you a summary of what I got out of this, and I'll share some pointers with you. Stay tuned for that. From experiencing all of life's hardest challenge, including homelessness, abuse, and losing everything in a house fire, Beverly Hills author Sheila Mack has inspired others through her resilience and determination to gain back control of her life. All right, and now back to the chat with Sheila. At that moment the car broke down, an interesting thing happened. I got this email from a pre-owned, like a, a used car dealership. And, and they sell new cars and used cars. And they said, come on in and test this car. Now, the cars were not the kind of cars that I really needed or wanted for, for my, you know, job. But I said, oh, and it's in a neighborhood that was kind of like, I never go to this neighborhood. It's, it's not where I usually shop. And I don't know how safe it is, whatever. <laughs> it was a rough, rough side of town. And I see you. Know I want to go over there because it popped up at that moment. 
and they were offering me a hundred and seventy five dollars gift card, like a Visa card. And I said, well, I need that for groceries. And even if I can't get a car <laughs> and I go in, I go to the, the lot and there on the lot was this this Mercedes. It was pre-owned, beautiful. And it was the exact one I had helped a client who's a good friend of mine. And I drove her around when she was looking for a home the weekend before. And we were like, oh, yeah, this this car feels great. This would be nice for you, Sheila. And I was like, it would. And I couldn't imagine how that would show up on the lot. They had, you know, older cars, different models that, you know, maybe for like a student or something, a starter car. And there was this one car they could not sell. I got it for six or 7,000 under Blue Book. And I said, here's my credit. I've got this much and saved up I could put down. And they got me that car. But it was me and it was my decision of who I'm going to be. I'm willing to, to take the steps uh, to go in there and and just look. And maybe it was just to get do a test drive on a car. I wasn't going to buy and get groceries. And I ended up getting the car that was perfect. I still drive that car today. And I'm very, this was a few years. This was back in 2017, uh, the beginning of 2018, really. And so that was that's incredible. So it's who are you being and all that you're doing. And when you decide how you're going to show up in any situation, it, it makes a huge difference. We're talking about how to create your reboot plan with Sheila Mack. And you can find her at SheilaMack.com. And I'll spell that S-H-E-I-L-A-M-A-C.com. Sheila, let's get into your vision path. Now, first things first, You have this great new book out that you've talked about just a little bit. It's called Bootstraps and Bra Straps. And well, while it can sound risque, I like to know what's the bra straps all about? What does that have to do with rebooting our life? It's interesting because we do have that saying, okay, let's pull ourselves up by our bootstraps. And I thought, you know, I really want to reach out to women as well. So I put the bra straps in there and I made it kind of fun. And, and so that's what that's about. It's like, whoever you are, it it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, but we need to pull ourselves up. And the beautiful thing about that was my, my, my grandmother, I go back to my grandmother. She had a manufacturing company. She did clothing and most of her things were sportswear, um, swimsuits and bras. So it goes all the way back to me being three years old in this bra factory. (laughs) So it might have stuck. And I remember grandma had these other lady friends that also ran businesses and they were all so wise and beautiful. Here I am three, four, five years old and I'm sitting there. They're having tea or coffee and they're sharing their stories of one lady. She lost her whole family in a concentration camp. And here she is moved to the. United States now and has this beautiful business and this amazing life and incredible rich stories. There was another lady that her and her husband escaped a country that they had to leave everything they owned to come to this country. They didn't speak a word of English and there they were owning their house and successful. And, you know, all these different stories, there was, you know, five or eight of these women sitting around and it just inspired me because I thought, oh, okay. I'm going to have my own stories. We're going to go through our own history. Like right now, this year, we're going through some serious living history. And we're going to go through that as a society and as a group and in community as we support each other as men and women. When we support each other through that, we know we're going to get to the other side of all this and it's going to be easier. So along with my book, I do have a support community that's free. It's a Facebook group community that all of us are gathering together. We share our stories and help each other through these different events that happen in our life. So, you know, some of the chapters, I use the Boots formula and I go through various life situations that have happened. I go through grieving, financial situations, career shifts. We're going to cover a little bit more of that in just one moment, but I just want to make it very clear to our male entrepreneurs that this can help them and that this is for them. And you're saying, Sheila, that any slump that we're in, male or female, that this information here can help us get out of our slump and get us to the next level. Right. So 
We all go through these things and this just using this formula will help you get back into action faster and easier. So it's, it's just like a guide. If it was my best friend going through this, I'd say, okay, let's get grounded. Here's some steps. And now you're going to design it. You're going to use the steps, but it's going to be on your terms. I like it a lot. Great. Because I want to make sure that my male audience stays with us. Yes. All right, everyone. We're going to get into bootstraps and bra straps, and we're going to help the men and help the women and everyone. Sheila, tell us now, let's go into these points on how we can reboot our life. Okay. So I, I think we'll use the example of everybody is going through a life shift this year with our universal pause pandemic. And with that, you know, you have to decide, okay, who am I being and who do I need to be in this situation? Now here, parents are going to have to homeschool in some areas because schools aren't open. We've had to shift everything that we normally do. And so how we show up as leaders of our in our businesses and leaders in our home, because now our home and businesses combined is going to make all the difference for whoever we affect, whether you're raising children still or, or having elder care or whatever you're doing. It's how you're showing up is going to affect those other people in your family, in your community. Then it's the order of operations. Well, the beginning of 2020, we all had our goals and our visions and that kind of had a change. So we had to decide, okay, this is now our new orientation and this is where we want to go now. So most of us are not able to apply the same goals and process that we were doing at the beginning of this year because our whole world has shifted. So we have to review that in order to still get the results that we want. And then we have to decide in which order we need to do things. I mean, just even the order of your day, if you have elders that you're caring for and keeping an eye on or neighbors you're helping with or children at home, your whole order has to change on how you do things in order to get your work done and maintain your home and your family or community outreach even. So that's that. And then the thinking, we have to keep our mindset positive. I mean, it affects our health and our wellness even. And like I said before, the thinking, the mindset is going to make all the difference in how everybody else feels in your home. If you're doing Zoom calls and your business calls, they need you to step up as the leader and how you show up is going to affect everybody else. You know, like when somebody walks into a room and they're negative, the energy shifts. And when somebody walks into the room and they're positive, it can also shift the energy that way. And this year we need it more than ever. And the last, the S in boots is for stepping up. And that's once you set out and you do this formula, you have to step into the action. And as you take action, that's when your results are going to start showing up. And one part of your life affects the other piece of your life. And so as you get one area, you know, you could have things go great at work. And if you have relationship problems at home, it's going to affect your business. There, there's just no way about it. So, you know, as you deal with that and you get things better at home and more peaceful, your business will have more success and you'll have more energy to bring to that. Sheila, what I like about you as an author is you just didn't come up with a book, but you have a support community for the book and you have, I believe, some training as well, which is very unique. And You've mentioned that a little bit. What I'd like you to do is just take a moment and tell us a little bit about your support group. You, you mentioned it's on Facebook. What does someone get? I mean, they have the book, they read the book. Are these for people that have hit rock bottom and they need help up? Or just tell us more about what people can expect out of your support group. Okay, so the book is a guide to get you through different situations in your life. But the support group is a free group so that we can all come together, whether you're dealing with you just, your life is great, but you're doing a lifestyle redesign based on your terms, or you're dealing with a loved one that's in an abusive situation trying to get out or somebody that's facing addictions, whatever it is. So we have different people going through different things, but we all are using the same formula to get back on track faster. And there's something beautiful about having other people share their stories and support one another through this so that you're not alone. 
when I was up in that cabin house, I felt all alone. And I said, you know what, that is not going to happen anymore. We have to have community because in community, everything is just easier. Now, as you go through the book, each chapter also has at the end of it application. So it has different things to work through that are based on that topic. For instance, for the grieving portion, my book was going to come out earlier in the year and I put it on hold when my youngest son passed away. He had a a heart condition and he was only 22 and he passed away. And so I took my own universal pause with my other children and we went through the steps on how to get through the grieving process and how to heal through that. And sometimes you need to step back and go through something, you know, a healing process. So in that, for that chapter, we have the seven stages of healing and activities to help you get through a a life situation like that. And uh, for relationships, we have different ways to communicate with your loved ones, the relationship with your love in your life, your partner, and also the relationship you have with your children and how you can do different ideas of contracts and talking about when you both know the expectations, we have an idea of what a relationship looks like. And the one partner thinks it looks like this and that's perfect. And the other person, it looks different. But when they know what the picture is, they can come together in community and still have the freedom and understand each other. So sometimes it just takes going through that activity to get back on track in a relationship that maybe the people were struggling. This is the Tony D'Urso Show, where you can learn from the wisdom and success of others to help you move on your vision path. Just ahead, the chat continues on how to create your reboot plan with Sheila Mack. But first, it's time for us to take a short break. See you back here in just a moment. As folks adapt to this changing world, we're all going to be buying more stuff online than ever before. I sure am. And if you're an e-commerce seller, are you ready to meet the demands of our new delivery culture? Be ready with ShipStation. Why ShipStation? Well, when you're selling online, getting a lot of orders out fast can be tough. And people like me, I want my order right away. How do you keep track of who gets what? Which shipping carrier should you use? Are you getting the best rates? That's why you need ShipStation. It's the fastest, easiest, and most affordable way to manage and ship your orders. Just a few clicks, and you'll be managing your orders, printing out labels, and getting your product out to happy customers like me. ShipStation makes it easy. As mentioned, my family buys a lot online. Who doesn't these days, right? I love it when my vendors use ShipStation because I then know I'm getting the lowest cost shipping. One time maybe is not a big deal, but when your family is buying more and more online... Those shipping costs add up and up and up. And in today's economy, that's right, we all want the prices to go down and down and down. So that's why ShipStation is so important to me, and it should be to you and anyone who sells online. ShipStation helps online sellers of any size get orders out quickly, save money on shipping costs, and keep customers happy. No matter where you're selling from, Amazon, Etsy, your own website, ShipStation brings all your orders into one simple interface, making them really easy to manage from any device, even your cell phone. No wonder ShipStation is the number one choice of online sellers. You'll ship more in less time with the best rates available. So let's do this. And right now, the Tony D'Urso Show listeners can try ShipStation free for 60 days when you use offer code T-O-N-Y. Make sure your business is ready to meet the demands of delivery culture. Get started at ShipStation.com today. Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in Tony, T-O-N-Y. That's ShipStation.com. Then enter offer code T-O-N-Y. ShipStation.com. Make ship happen. And for those in the military, law enforcement, EMS, or radio operators, let's try that phonetically. Go to Sierra Hotel. India, Papa, Sierra, Tango, Alpha, Tango, India, Oscar, November, dot com, Tango, Oscar, November, Yankee, ShipStation.com, Code Tony. All right, Elite Entrepreneurs, check it out, sign up, and tell me how you like it. 
We're with you wherever Alexa and Google are. At home, in the car, on your smart TV, and your connected devices. Hey, Alexa. Hey, Google. Play my favorite Voice America podcast on TuneIn. It's just that easy. But make sure you actually mention the name of the podcast show to make it work. You're listening to The Tony D'Erso Show with special VIP guests. Now, back to Tony and his guest. All right, we're back on The Tony D'Erso Show where you can learn from the wisdom and success of others to help you move on your vision plan. Let's see what we can learn today. Today's show is about how to create your reboot plan with Sheila Mack. At the end of this interview, I'll give you a summary of what I got out of this and I'll share some pointers with you. Stay tuned for that. All right, and now back to the chat with Sheila. If we go to SheilaMack.com, is there a link there somewhere where we can find that group? Yes, so there is a link for that, and there is lots of free resources, videos related to the various topics, and many things to help anybody that's going through something or just wants to reinvent and reboot their life this year. Sheila, this is amazing and so helpful. Thanks for putting this together and having the support because there's too many bad stories or sad stories, let's call it, of what's going on. So everything helps. Thank you so much for doing it. And while it may sound weird or a, a, an oxymoron because we're talking about hitting rock bottom and getting support, Sheila, you say there's a gift in hitting rock bottom and we're all ears. What do you mean by that? Well, sometimes in life, when you hit, uh, uh, many times when you think about it, when you hit a rock bottom, and a lot of times, obviously, a fire, a pandemic, these are things that we didn't do. You know, we didn't sign up for this, but this happened. So this is a, a universal rock bottom right now this year that we're all having to reinvent and reboot our lives. And when you do that, you get to play with it a little bit and say, hey, wait a minute, now I kind of like working from home or now I'm going to move my office closer to home or, uh, you know, and you get to design life on your terms. So sometimes that reboot can be the biggest gift of all where you, you, you know, you get to be with your family more and recreate how you do business on your terms. Totally agree. Because when life gives you that shift, let's call it, and you've got to restart. I mean, I know so many people, I've interviewed so many people that have had catastrophes in their life. I've met someone who was living out on the streets. I've interviewed him, became a millionaire. You know, it's just amazing that when you get that reset, it's that like a wake up call. It's like, you've got to do it because carrying on as you are, isn't going to go anywhere. Yes. And you clean up and you decide, oh, wait, why am I doing X, Y, Z when that's nothing? That's nothing that brings me happiness anyway. Wait a minute. Let me realign with what really makes me happy. What is success to you? It's very different. You could survey a thousand people and everybody's real success and or happiness is a different definition. And we get to learn how to love and connect with our community in different ways now. And also to be happy, choosing to be happy and create our life every day now, not waiting for some magic moment in our life to to find happiness. And I think people are able to do that sometimes when they have a shift in their life. Very well said. Sheila, earlier you talked a little bit about home tension and so forth. And of course, with more and more people working at home, home tension, I think. Mm Mm-hmm. Is going, to, is going to increase. What do you have for that? You know, it, it's home tension, but it's also a home blessing in the sense that you get to redesign what's going on in your house. It may be that you reconnect to your young adults, which it's a really hard time, obviously, for all of us, but for young adults especially. And yet it's this time in our life where we can connect to our loved ones Or if you're home alone, you're going to connect, reaching out, calling people, getting on a Zoom call and connecting to your loved ones or family and friends that maybe you normally wouldn't talk to. So our relationships can get stronger through this. Now, also, if you are the leader of your home as parents or as children that are adult children now with elders or whoever in your life, 
how we go through these tough times models for, for the other people in our life, how they can get through something. So we're setting the tone for anybody that's in our, in our circle of influence at home and going out from there. And with the world craving healing and equality and all these things right now, it's coming back to home and starting in our home and healing whatever's going on there and reorganizing that now on our terms as a family. And then that beautiful state of mind and energy goes out into how you show up in your Zoom calls with your business meetings, whether you're going to work or not going to work, it goes out into the community and makes this beautiful change happen even faster. A strong family brings about a strong community. And right now, families are being split asunder and communities are being rent apart and so on and so forth. I totally, totally agree with you so much. We just need to get back to family roots and, you know, the old fashioned morals, sticking together, working together, helping each other and things like that. With this reset, we could really turn things around. Yes. Yes. You've done so much. You've got a good long career as a realtor and now an author and helping people with support and so forth. What are you looking to accomplish in the next few years? Well, um, I, I'm continuing my, I lead a class online for real estate agents on commercial investing and exchanges, but I wanted to branch out and uh, have more programs. I also have a consulting business and I've worked with many people on different areas of their life on a consulting basis. And so I wanted to make this available to more people on an affordable level. So I do offer different Courses that will be group courses that people can get through. Let's say you're going through a divorce. So a group of us will come together and we'll meet on Zoom and we'll have open conversations. We'll go through the Boots formula and get on track over the course of six months or a year, depending on what you need so that there's this community. Now, for those that can't afford it, there's also lots of free resources and ways to connect on the Facebook group and through the different programs that I'm creating. As far as the book goes, as that goes on sale, I have a special buy one, get one with a, if you want a signed copy. And those other books are going this first month to a woman's shelter and they'll get those books free. And that will be, and they'll be able to get in some of our talk programs free to get them back on track. A lot of them are there with their children. And so it's being able to contribute in ways where people need it and what blesses one will bless all. And so coming together in community, we get more freedom and we're able to help more people easier. That's great. Sheila, are there any personal habits that have helped you to contribute to the success of accomplishing your vision? Personal habits. You know, I I think every day (laughs) I do my meditation. And years ago, I did go to India. (laughs) And they taught they told me I needed to meditate. And I was like, I have a permission from the doctor. I have a doctor's note here that I have to get up every hour. (laughs) (laughs) I twisted the doctor's arm. I did. I had um, had a, a minor spill, so I did have an injury. But I really was like, please give me this note because I don't know if I could sit through a meditation, you know, hours of it anyway. And now I do meditate every day for a couple hours, an hour in the morning, an hour at night. And I, I keep a good practice of doing my exercise for an hour or two a day where I take a bike ride and then I take my little puppy for a walk. And my daughter and I go for walks. I love to give back. Because I came from foster care as a child. I was homeless from 10 to 13 and went into foster care. That's a whole, it's, it's in the book. But I, I like to give back. So I do mentor at a girl's home. And my daughter also has worked at a, a girl's facility as a counselor. She's studying psychology. So we do give back a lot to the community. And it's beautiful because in giving back, we get out of our own heads about our own little problems or whatever's going on. And you get out there and you're helping somebody else. And that brings you happiness right now. When you see you're able to shift a young girl's life, who's just getting ready to emancipate and go on her own and maybe doesn't have family. When you're able to do those things, 
And however you contribute, it could be that you love pets and you go and contribute at at an animal shelter, whatever it is that your heart guides you to do, as you go out and do those things, even if you have to do it from home, depending on, on the rules of where you're at this year, as you go out and get out of your head, you're into your heart. Uh, that's a Tony Robbins saying, when you go and do those things, it just makes all the difference in how your happiness is now. You're not waiting for some other thing to show up. And it, it's really made a difference in my life. Thank you so much for sharing that and going over that. I totally agree. And Sheila, are there any great resources to share with our audience success squad? Yes. So when you get the book or on the website, there are tons of free gifts that I give to my readers. And those are resources to help you apply the Boots formula quickly and easily. And there's also a YouTube video that goes through the Boots formula. And it's a a free video you can watch that kind of walks you through and you can apply that to any area of your life to get back on track quickly. I like that. Okay, everybody, you heard it. So we got to get the book, Bootstraps and Bra Straps, which is good for men and women. And we're going to get the free gifts of the Boots formula. And then you've got the freebies. You've got the YouTube videos. So much good stuff to help us all reboot. And I like that. This is the Tony D'Urso Show, where you can learn from the wisdom and success of others to help you move on your vision path. Just ahead, the chat continues on how to create your reboot plan with Sheila Mack. But first, it's time for us to take a short break. See you back here in just a moment. How much could you save in one year by switching to Harry's? How about... Enough to buy 26 cups of coffee in New York City. I love coffee. How about enough for three deep dish pizza dinners in Chicago? I actually like the thin crust in Chicago, so that's probably like five large pizzas or so. How about enough to pay six months of your Netflix subscription? How? Harry's delivers high quality razor blades as low as $2 each, a fraction of the price of the leading brands, and saves you hundreds of dollars over time. Are you ready for this? I've been using Harry's razors for years. Yes, years. I absolutely love the product. I love the design of the handle. I love the shave gel. It's just a great thing all around. You guys got to check it out. And you know what? You can get a Harry's trial set delivered to your doorstep by going to harrys.com slash D-U-R-S-O. Give Harry's a try. Harry's is a return to the essential quality durable blades at a fair price. Just two bucks per blade. I know I said that already. They've cut out the middleman manufacturing blades in their German blade factory that's been honing precision blades for a century. It's super convenient. You can get blade refills directly to your door on your schedule with or without a subscription. And you know, Harry's has all your grooming needs covered in one stop. You can get blades, hair care, and shower products all on harrys.com slash D-U-R-S-O. And just like their blades, Harry's is committed to providing premium products without breaking the bank. And you can feel a little better about your purchase because to help support those who need it most right now, Harry's is donating a million dollars worth of shaving supplies to hospitals across the U.S. That's way cool. And here you go. Listeners of my show can redeem their Harry's trial set at harrys.com slash D-U-R-S-O. That's H-A-R-R-Y-S dot com slash D-U-R-S-O. You'll get a weighted ergonomic handle for a firm grip, five-blade razor with a lubricating strip and trimmer blade, rich lathering shave gel with aloe to keep your skin hydrated, and a travel blade cover to keep your razor dry and easy to grab on the go. Go to harrys.com slash D-U-R-S-O to start shaving and saving today. All right, guys, sign up, get your free kit, and tell me how much you love it. You're listening to The Tony D'Urso Show with special VIP guests. Now, back to Tony and his guest. All right, we're back on The Tony D'Urso Show, where you can learn from the wisdom and success of others to help you move on your vision plan. Let's see what we can learn today. Today's show is about how to create your reboot plan with Sheila Mack. At the end of this interview, I'll give you a summary of what I got out of this, and I'll share some pointers with you. Stay tuned for that. 
Sheila's new book, Bootstraps and Bra Straps, The Formula to Go from Rock Bottom and Back into Action in Any Situation, is a resource for those who need the guidance and assistance to take your life back into their own hands. And now back to the chat with Sheila. The title is Create Your Reboot Plan. Is there any template in your material that helps us actually draft out a a plan depending on where we are and where we need to go? Yes. So at the end of each chapter, what see, the book is designed so that you can go to the exact chapter you need in the area of life you're working on. And many times we go through, you know, if you're hit with a divorce, then you're going to have financial issues. You're going to go through different pieces and different chapters, but you would go directly to the one chapter that you're working on and then do those activities, read through the chapter, do those activities, and then go back. And as you see how the activities go through any area, you're able to learn how to apply that to your life and get back on track. So when you think about it, Tony, think about just like a pair of boots or a bra, you know, one size does not fit all. So you get to design this based on your needs at this moment in your life. I love it. Once again, we're talking about how to create your reboot plan with Sheila Mack. And you can find her at SheilaMack.com. That's S-H-E-I-L-A-M-A-C.com. Sheila, invigorating, full of resources. I hope this helps so many people. We all need something like this. So everyone, you have no excuse. Check this out. Go to SheilaMack.com. And if it helps you just even a little bit, it's all worth it. Thank you so much for all of this, Sheila. Very appreciated. Oh, thank you for having me on. Hey, fellow entrepreneurs. Thanks for hanging out with me while I featured an elite entrepreneur who took her vision to reality. I hope this was as inspiring for you as it was for me to do this interview. I learned so much about really rebooting and how to do it from the zero, from a catastrophe. Absolutely amazing. The insights are so valuable. How did you like it? Create your reboot plan with Sheila Mack. You know, how sad to invest in your own new house, get it all ready, all the furniture in place, put up the yard, etc. And then on the day she was going to move in and spend the night, it got destroyed in the big Ventura fire. She never spent one night in her new beautiful home, but she did manage to rescue her cat and a few boxes. But it didn't stop there for Sheila with the bad news. That same week, her cat was eaten by a coyote. Ow! And one of her children totaled her car. That is quite the rock bottom place to be. I bet some of you have similar sad stories of devastation that may have happened to you. A lot of us are in the same boat this year, right? With the pandemic, it's fiercely destroying the middle class and ruining the lives of so many. It just went on and on and it's sincerely amazing that Sheila has mustered up what it takes to reboot her own life. And she did it in grand style. And you know, as an aside, she reminds me of my own mother in a way. My mom raised six kids and became an entrepreneur of sorts, but nothing like the scale that Sheila has. Very impressive. Now sink your brain into that decision she made. That's when things started to shift. She started doing her affirmations and worked to make her 400 square foot shack as beautiful as she could. She surrounded herself with positive stickers. She refused to sink into despair. And within a month, her life started shifting to the better with some great breaks coming to her career. Wow, she pulled out of that fast. And that was when she started writing and putting together her boots formula, which she used to gain her own success after devastation. Some of the points in her boots formula, which we discussed are, B is for being. Who are you being? And what do you need to be to achieve your vision? Next was O, what was her orientation? Where are you on the map and where do you need to go? And what goals and outcome do you want as part of that? Everyone needs to do these types of steps simply as a result of the pandemic this year, which has changed so much. And the next O in Boots stands for Order of Operation. As Sheila explains clearly, the order in which you do things can make all the difference. And it just goes on and on with good solid information to bring clarity to our lives and our vision. And do you remember what Sheila said was the T and Y? I suggest listening to this again and taking notes. There's so much more I got out of this interview. What did you get? I would love to know how you use this information to help you in your business or career. Okay, guys, now grab hold of your vision. Decide you're either going to start something great or take it to the next level. 
you have to decide first. It always starts with a decision. And you can get my vision map to help you along the process. The free ebook is at Tony, D-U-R-S-O. And you can pick up the audio version and the training class too. Highly recommended. I created my empire in just a few years. That's all it took. I had the vision map as my guide. You can do it too. Let's help you move on your journey to success. And if you have any Apple device or access to Apple podcasts, please look up my name, Tony D-U-R-S-O, and subscribe to my show. A kind review there will get you tremendous appreciation back in return. Thanks, guys. And remember, just take action. Success awaits those who persevere and remain steadfast despite the odds. Sow good seeds, do good deeds, and join me on the next episode of The Tony D'Urso Show. We hope you've enjoyed this week's edition of The Tony D'Urso Show with his key influencers. Be sure to tune in again next Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific Time on the Voice America Influencers Channel. 